so this is one to 18.04 running gnome desktop not flashback till now we have installed many desktop environment with ubuntu like xfce budg and even gnome but with flashback but ubuntu's default desktop is gnome and that looks better with ubuntu so i tried to install it with ubuntu in true distro but it didn't work as true distro has ubuntu 22.04 which doesn't work then i was searching for the method to get it working and then one of our member on our discord server shared the method to install it but with ubuntu 18.04 as ubuntu 18.04 uses old gnome version and that works fine so thanks to him for sharing the method so in this video i will show you to install ubuntu 18.04 with gnome desktop so go to tomax and first thing you should always do is to update your repos package update then install dependencies package install wget root dash y next we need to download a script to install ubuntu 18.04 as root distro has ubuntu 22.04 at the time of recording this video and which doesn't work so execute following wget and the link and if i just ls here is the script next we need to make a small change in this file so go ahead and open it nano ubuntu.sh now here remove jammy and write bionic which is nickname for ubuntu 18.04 then just save the file control x y and enter and don't worry this script uses official image by ubuntu itself so execute Dash Ubuntu dot sh. Why to continue? Now this process may take some time, so wait till it is finished, and it's done. If we ls, here is the launch script. But before starting it, we need to make some changes in it. So go ahead and open it. Nano start Ubuntu dot sh. Scroll down using arrow keys, and here after slash dev, just hit enter to get a new line, and add following in it. and you will get all this from description now just save the file control x y and enter now we can start ubuntu period slash start ubuntu dot sh and if i execute cat slash etc slash os dash release we can see it's ubuntu 18.04 and that's what we want now first we have to update its repos apt update now before moving further first we will add some colors here so if i ls dash a here is dot bash rc file just remove that then execute following to copy new dot bash rc file then again execute following now exit and log in again and that's it now we have that beautiful colors then execute following to install gnome desktop now this process may take some time depending on your internet speed and device performance so go and take a break and it's done now we have to configure vnc startup file so create a vnc directory mkdir.vnc and open x startup file nano.vnc/x startup and paste following in it then just save the file control x y and enter next we need to update this permission change mode plus x.vnc/x startup Now we can start VNC server by executing VNC server, and if you want to access it from your other devices on your local network, use dash localhost no flag. Create your password, verify it, and enter. Now go to VNC viewer, click on this plus icon, write your IP address colon one, give any name to it, and click on create. Connect, enter your password, and here. just click on i icon scroll down and change picture quality to high and that's it here is our ubuntu desktop now here we don't have wallpaper and display size is also not good so just right click using two fingers display settings and here change display resolution and here change display resolution according to your device and click on keep changes now just close this window and again right click change background and here click on background and select wallpaper whatever you want 
I will go with default wallpaper. Then just close these windows. Next, just click on activities, application, and open GNOME tweaks. Now click on extensions and enable Ubuntu Dock. Next, you can go to application and you can add application to favorites, which will add them in Ubuntu Dock. Next, we will install browser. So just launch the terminal and execute apt install Firefox. Then go to application, add Firefox to favorites, and then just launch Firefox. Okay, we have an error here. So to fix this, go to about colon config, click on accept, and search for sandbox.qbeb. Click on this plus icon and change it to false by clicking on this icon. Then search for security.sandbox and change this value to 0. Now just close Firefox and open it again and it's working. And the process we did will also fix sound in Firefox. And to get sound here, go to Termux and install Pulse Audio. Package install Pulse Audio dash Y. Then open dot bash RC file, nano dot bash RC and paste following in it. Then just save the file, control, x, y and enter. Now execute bash. Next, go to Ubuntu and execute following. Now you will get sound working in Ubuntu. So that's how you install Ubuntu GNOME in Termux. Hope you like it and consider subscribing if you didn't did it yet.